Hey everyone, Joey Kissimmee here with Incompress.com and this is another super quick tutorial. And today we're going to be talking about image mapping and image placing and, and how to do all kinds of uh, funky techy stuff with the images and banners without being all techy or, or knowing how to be all techy if that makes any sense, right? <laughs> Anyways, we're right here in my blog in the Incompress.com blog and if you notice right at the top right hand corner you'll see a banner with four, uh, four social media icons. You got one for Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and, and and an RSS feed icon, right? So anyways, what I'm going to show you today is how to do image mapping coding with your images like this so you could be able to to link each individual icon to to a separate part uh, of the internet okay like this one here when people click on this one they'll go to Facebook when they click on this one they'll go to Twitter this one YouTube and so forth right so right here this is one single image it's just one image it's not four separate icons or, or four separate images I should say okay it's one single entire image all right and it's very difficult to do this with one image unless you know how to do image mapping uh, or any type of coding at all okay it's very difficult to and I, and I know you've seen this before where you see these sites with one single image and they have a whole bunch of icons or or little links in there and they link each individual icon to a separate link in a separate domain and website and it was kind of cool so anyways I'm gonna show you how to do that today it's not very difficult at all actually there's an app a web based app that does it all for you so I'm gonna go ahead and, and show you how to do that right now let's just go ahead and go to the website real quick right here this is imagemaps.com it's a cool little app I wish I would have came up with this a long time ago I found it a long time ago actually searching for a way on how to do this and it's real simple to do all you gotta do is just upload your image here and pretty much the app will do everything else oh it will do all the coding for you and it's gonna be real simple wait wait till you see anyways you got two different options here to, to go ahead and upload your images uh, basically you got one here where you can actually upload your image right into their website and you got the other one where you can actually link uh, or paste uh, your own link where you're hosting your own image. Now I would highly recommend this one here because if you upload an image to their website, okay, you run the chance of, uh, of, of getting your, your link or your image not shown in your website. Because if one day this site crashes or it just shuts down or the guy just decides not to host his website anymore, right? Well, you're pretty much out of business, your host, because then your image will not appear in your website because your website doesn't know where to take that feed from, okay? So I would highly suggest you actually go ahead and host the, the, the image files in your own hosting, uh, whether it be uh, writing WordPress, which, which is what I do, or an S3 Amazon account or photo bucket. You could do those just as long as the, uh, that you're hosting the files in your uh, what it, in your domain, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. I've already got my link here, so I'm gonna go ahead and paste it right there, okay? Once you do that, all you gotta do is just go ahead and click on this start mapping your image uh, button. This little thing here is going to show up here. It always does. I don't know why. Uh, just wait for the uh, countdown to go down. And then this little thing here, continue to the next step uh, link will show up. Okay. So once that pops up, just go ahead and click on that. Now, once you're here, this is where you'll actually start mapping your images. Okay. And it's very simple. I love the way this works. It could actually be a lot more easier than all this stuff here, but it's not mine. So who cares? Right. Anyways. All you got to do here is just right here in this uh, this first box here, click on this rectangle uh, button here. Okay, this little thing here pop up right here, right above your image. All you got to do is just place it right over the first icon, okay? And then just take one of these little corners, just click and hold, okay, and drag it like so. All right, it doesn't have to be perfect, just as long that as it's covering enough of the icon so when the the visitor goes in here and just hovers over it they'll be able to click on it okay once you got that uh, your desired uh, size and look just go ahead and go right down here okay 
and type in or copy and paste your link okay so in this case it will be facebook uh, dot com forward slash income press this is to my fan page now you can put this to wherever you want guys to a facebook uh, video or your youtube channel or whatever or right into your fan page wherever you want now make sure guys that you test the link okay before you go live with this test it make sure it goes directly to wherever you want it to and if, it, if everything's okay just go ahead and click on save now you'll notice right here the title alt uh, tags here these are just title and alt tags so you could be able to do some seo type of stuff with your images but you, i mean really you if this is just an image map you're going to be directing the links to or the icons to different parts of the website so it kind of defeats the purpose you really don't need it or at least that's my opinion okay you may be you know whatever you decide to do it's fine i'm not going to do it i'm just going to go ahead and click on save here now to do the rest of them you do the same thing guys just go ahead and click on the rectangle button another box will appear all you gotta do is just grab it and drag it to the next icon do the same thing here twitter.com forward slash joe kissimi oops and i misspelled it there okay test the link remember and then click on save now guys you're gonna do the same thing over and over for the other images now i'm not going to go ahead and do this because obviously i already have it and i don't want to spend all day here okay so i'm just going to go ahead and do it real quick all right click on save and then you're pretty much it you're you're pretty much done and ready to, to copy and paste your code and put it in your website now one important thing thing that I really want to you guys to note here okay pay attention because this is very important now let's go over here to the right hand side here and we're gonna scroll down and go to the advanced tools box okay now this is important that you do this okay I want you to uncheck all of these little check mark uh, these check boxes okay now these are just things that you really don't need to know all right and you really don't need basically what this is doing is is uh, it's asking you permission to see if they could uh, put some uh, backlinks or or popovers or just give them credit for for their services for their website right well i wouldn't recommend this because then it's going to show up in your website and in your images it's going to look all ugly and why would you want that right why would you want someone else's site popping over in your website you don't want that if you want to give them credit which is cool okay you always want to give credit where credit is due do a, a, a review post or a video like i'm doing right now i'm giving them credit and thanking them for, for such a great product here okay and free at that this is totally free I don't know if I mentioned that before but anyways go ahead uncheck all that and you'll be good okay now right here this is where you're gonna get your code because you're pretty much done here so click on this get your code button here this next page is gonna pop up here all you gotta do is just right up here these tabs here click on the HTML code tab now once you're here all you got to do is just highlight the entire code copy it and then paste it over on your website wherever you want that specific image map to show whether it be in a banner or a post or wherever you want it at in my case i want it in the top right hand corner uh, of the of my website which is the banner space so what i would do is just go to the, the back office of my wordpress go right here to where it says header right place a uh, text widget there and then just go ahead and, and paste a uh, copy and paste my code right in there obviously i already have it uh, so i don't have to do it so once you're done there just click on save and then you're just going to go in here to your website and before it goes live just go ahead and make sure it works you know refresh it make sure it pops up there go ahead and click on each in the individual uh, you know little icons or whatever and make sure that it works okay and then before it goes live if it doesn't and obviously you did something wrong just go back to the drawing board and start all over again so that's pretty much it here for this tutorial folks I really hope you enjoyed it below this video you're gonna see a downloadable link for you to download and it's pretty much just a file with a whole bunch of images and, and social media icons for you to go ahead and play with and start doing your own image mapping 
you got some horizontal ones you got some vertical ones so if you like if you don't have a banner space like I do here then you'll be able to do one right down here for your widgets so you can place one from top to bottom instead of side to side like the one I have here and I actually have this very same one here this banner that I showed you today I have this very same one uh, in that file for you so you can go ahead and, and place it on your website okay and that's pretty much it guys I thank you so very much for watching this video and if you really want to thank me for this uh, for this video for the files all you gotta do is just go ahead and like the page uh, and or give me a shout out right down there in the comments below let me know your thoughts and if you did your own image mapping and it's up and running on your website let me see it let me sh let, uh, just show me how, uh, how it came out I would love to see it so with that said this is Joey Kissimmee with another super quick tutorial. Peace. I love it for free.